spoiler warning, these are my personal opinions, and if anything on this list is trashed here for you, please let me know in the comments down below, and give me your top five. Now back to the video. Another powerhouse console for the 2000s, the Nintendo GameCube was released September 14, 2001. I still remember Christmas that year cracking open this purple box and slapping in Super Mario Sunshine. The GameCube was probably my first new console. Yes, I had to share with my brothers and our library at the time was pretty much three games, but still it defined what platformer should be, what fighting game should be, and what franchises would always take me back to those days. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my top five GameCube titles. <laughs> Robotech Valkyrie is a classic action adventure game released for the GameCube in 2002. It is a game that brings back a wave of nostalgia for Gen X, who watched the anime back in the 80s. The gameplay, characters, music, each were iconic in their own way, making it a memorable gaming experience. Imagine Top Gun, but anime. The gameplay of Robotech Battlecry can be intense. It features a single player campaign mode where the player takes on the role of Jack Archer, a pilot of the Veritech Fire Squad. The game is divided into missions, and each mission has a specific objective that must be completed to progress through the campaign. The game's combat system is satisfying, yet kinda dated. The controls are responsive and fun, making it a joy to play, but combat is complicated. The 3D environment can be awesome for dogfighting with enemy aircraft, but boss fights or any urban setting will be a challenge. The game also features a multiplayer mode where players can battle against each other. The multiplayer mode allows players to complete in gladiator style duels, winner takes all. The multiplayer was a great way to try out different Veritex and skin. And the couch split screen comes with mandatory trash talking. Shit on! Get shit on! Get shit on! The music in Robotech Battlecry is outstanding. The game's soundtrack features a blend of orchestral and rock music. The music perfectly complements the game's intense action and adds to the overall excitement of the game. Robotech Battlecry was released to critical acclaim and was praised for its excellent graphics, engaging gameplay, and exciting multiplayer mode. Makes it a must play for the GameCube. Super Mario Sunshine was released for the Nintendo GameCube in 2002. As a gamer from back then, I have fond memories of this game, and its nostalgic charm still holds up today. Gameplay of Super Mario Sunshine is what makes it so unique. The game features a new mechanic where Mario uses a water pump called Flood Liquidizer, something or another, Flood, we'll call him Flood, to clean up goop and access new areas. The game's levels are so intricately designed with hidden secrets and challenges, making it a joy to explore and discover. The music in Super Mario Sunshine is another standout feature. The game features an upbeat and cheerful soundtrack that perfectly complements the colorful and vibrant visuals. The music has become iconic and still remembered fondly by many gamers today. Super Mario Sunshine was met with critical acclaim upon its release, with many praising the innovative gameplay and creative level design. However, the game also received criticism for its difficulty and deviation from the traditional Mario gameplay style, I guess? Hey, get, get, get that Bowser song with, with the, yeah, yeah, the blonde chick. Yeah. I don't know, just, just roll clip. That's the wrong one! Overall, Super Mario Sunshine is a classic game that still holds up today. Its unique platforming, memorable music, and its sound inducing charm have made it one of the most beloved games in the Mario series. I can attest to the lasting impact this game has had on the gaming community, its ability to create timeless memories. Wow. 
Mario Kart Double Dash is a classic kart racer that was released for the Nintendo GameCube in 2003. This game is a fan favorite among all gamers of all ages, as a nostalgic charm has kept players coming back for almost two decades. The gameplay of Mario Kart Double Dash is what sets it apart from other kart racers of the franchise. A diverse cast of playable characters from the Mario universe including Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Bowser, you know, the classics. And each character has unique attributes and items that can be used to gain an advantage during races. The game also offers both single player and multiplayer modes, making it accessible to both casual and competitive players. The multiplayer mode is particularly noteworthy. The game can be played with up to four players, and with the frantic action of chaos that ensues is what makes this game so enjoyable. The multiplayer mode can be played on either locally or online through... Yo. Allowing players to connect with others from around the world and complete intense races. One of the most significant features of Mario Kart Double Dash is the soundtrack. The game features a lively collection of music that complements the racing experience. Double Dash was released to critical acclaim and is considered one of the best racing games of all time. It's praised for its innovative gameplay, excellent graphics, and extensive roster of playable characters. However, the game also received criticism for its heavy reliance on luck which could leave frustrating experience for some more competitive-minded players. Overall, Mario Kart Double Dash is a classic game that holds a special place in the hearts of many gamers. It is a testament to the power of video games to create timeless memories and also to break controllers and make everyone mad at each other. Star Fox Adventures was a highly anticipated game released for the Nintendo GameCube in 2002. As a gamer from back then, I have a strong nostalgia for this game. It's a Zelda clone, but like more nature, I guess? I don't know. The gameplay of Star Fox Adventures was a departure from the series previous titles, going from an on-rail shooter to a Zelda clone action adventure title. The gameplay even involves a mix of action adventure and puzzle solving elements, as well as players exploring various locations, fight enemies, with a variety of weapons and abilities. Now with that said, please watch my full deep dive review, link down below. I have no idea what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, maybe not. Star Fox Adventures received mixed reviews from critics. Some praised the game's innovative gameplay and storytelling, while others criticized it for straying too far from the series' roots. Or being too easy. Either, either way, no one was happy. However, for gamers from back then, Star Fox Adventures is the action adventure we sorely needed for the console. Its unique blend of genres, engaging gameplay, memorable music, made it a favorite among everyone from back then. Now, before we tackle the my number one game on the list, I would like to address some honorable mentions. Metro Prime is the GameCube's definitive first-person shooter. In Metroid Prime, you will play the role of Samus Aran and view the world through her eyes. Equipped with the power beam and gravity suit, you must shoot lock switches, solve puzzles, and eliminate enemies. It's up to you to explore the world and recover more power-ups and weapons, which gradually open more gameplay areas. Link's debut on the GameCube with a fun new cel shaded look, but the game stays true to the respective heritage of the series. The classic mix of sword swinging action, perplexing puzzles, and stirring storylines remains intact, but the stunning cel shaded graphics give the, the people in places of Link's watery world a wildly artistic new look. And for the first time, Link sails freely on the high seas. Resident Evil 4 marks a new chapter in the Resident Evil series, You'll rejoin Leon S. Kennedy six years after his first mission as a rookie cop from Resident Evil 2. Now as U.S. agent Leon is on top secret mission to investigate the disappearance of the president's daughter. As Leon, you must make your way to a mysterious location in Europe where new enemies await. Now some of you may be asking, what could possibly top every game mentioned so far? The rest of you already know.
Super Smash Bros. Melee was released by Nintendo GameCube in 2001. This game is THE Smash Bros. Fighter and has kept players coming back for more than two decades. The gameplay of Super Smash Bros. Melee is what sets it apart from any other fighting game of the time. The game features a diverse cast of playable characters of Nintendo's vast lineup of games. Roy, Mewtwo, Mario, Link, Donkey Kong, it just keeps on going. Each character has unique moves and abilities, making gameplay different and exciting for each character. The game also offers both single and multiplayer modes, making it accessible to both casual and competitive players. That up smash! Happy feet! Wombo oh, combo! I mean, that, that ain't foul! Oh! 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 Where you at? Where you at? The game's multiplayer mode is why this is still the gold standard for Smash Bros. tournaments. The game can be played with up to four players, and with the skilled combat, especially in competitive settings, makes replayability endless. Super Smash Bros. Melee has an impressive collection of music from a variety of Nintendo's most beloved franchises. The music has become so iconic that fan-made remixes are still popular today. Super Smash Bros. Melee was released to critical acclaim and is considered one of the best fighting games of all time. It was praised for its innovative gameplay, excellent graphics, and extensive roster of playable characters. Overall, Super Smash Bros. Melee is a cornerstone title that holds a special place in the hearts of many gamers. Its engaging gameplay, diverse roster of characters, memorable music, and nostalgia-inducing charm have made it one of the most beloved games and the entire GameCube library. It is a testament to the power of the gaming community to create timeless and endless memories that just brings people together. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching, comment, like, subscribe, all that good fun, links down below, you know how it is. But yeah, let me know what your top five GameCube games were. Like, what's what's something that always draws you back to the console? What's your favorite thing? What's, what, what's a memory that you can share? I would love to hear it down below. But as always, guys, I love you all. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I hope to see you in the next one.